good, great people? I am Ezel Moon, and I have a special guest in the building today. Man, he is... Yes, man, I, can I start with the achievements? Let me start with the achievements. Now, he has a great cup. He also has a Super Bowl ring. Yo. Now... Now, not only that, but he's also played for the Stampeders and then turned around and became the defensive back coach for the Stampeders. Skyline High School's very own Joshua Bell. <laughs> 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 no, I have to. I have to. What's good, Kim? What's happening, dog? Same stuff. Another day, man. I can't believe I'm sitting down with one of those that they say, hey, notable Omega men. Right oh, here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I can get one of them. No, you will. You will. Joshua Bell. <laughs> you will. <laughs> Joshua Bell. <laughs> Alright, um, dog, so you're on this, you are on uh, mini air hockey with Ezel Moon, and you know we are going to be playing some mini air hockey today. How you feeling? You're going to be good? You're going to be good? Yeah. yeah. We're going to see. We're gonna see. No, no, be uh, nervous. I'm not nervous. Okay, I'm about to yeah, say. I'm about to say. I just don't want to beat you on your show. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for that one. I need the motivation. Yeah. All right, dogs, I'm going to go ahead and explain to you the rules. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do is this. We're gonna um we're just gonna play to eight after every few questions. Um I'm sorry, blah. I'm gonna start that over. Editor, edit this shit out. Okay. Uh alright, so we're gonna play to eight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't worry, all this is gonna be cut. Um Okay, so we're gonna play to eight. After every few points, I'm gonna go ahead and stop. Ask you just a couple of questions, and then at the halftime, we're gonna talk about the charity that you're gonna want. We're gonna you're gonna want us to donate to, and then hey, at the end of the show, uh, I'm gonna donate to that charity. And you know, during the second half, I do have a second set of questions for you. Everything's gonna be all good, though. You know. Okay. Do the questions change if I'm winning? Man, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I might ask, man, why are you? Why you? Why you? Why you look like that? Nah, I ain't, nah, nah, nah. I ain't nothing gonna change. My tone ain't gonna change. I ain't gonna change. I got you, dog. Indeed. Yeah. All right. You ready? You ready to get started? I'm ready, bro. I'm okay. Ready. Now before, now before we play for our first point, there's a question that I always have to ask. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna go Give ahead and tell me. I'm gonna go ahead and sip this great tea that I made today. Hey, Henderson's chicken sponsor me. Um. <laughs> but but no. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um. I ask you this really quickly. So let's say the interview is over, right? Mm -hmm. And you're about to leave. And you're about to get, you, you walk out the door and you look down and you notice that there's a lottery ticket worth $50 million on my front porch. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you're going to do? Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing. What's the next thing? What's the next thing? Hey, I got fifty million dollars. I'm gonna go cash this lotto ticket. Somebody better claim it right now. I'll be looking like no. I'm about to be you. Hey, no. You know me standing outside saying that out loud <laughs> when the door closed. <laughs> I'm gonna hit me. Hey. 45, 46. Whatever lucky number that is, it's getting cast today. It's getting cast today. Ah. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, man. No, so you just going to hop in the car and drive straight to Austin, man, Texas. I got 25 to get rid of. Hey. If I get 50, I got 25 to get rid of. Hey. Hey, dog. I got you. <laughs> It don't make no difference to me. 25 and 50 sound like the same thing. Hey, bro. It sound like the same thing. Bro, bro. Hey, I appreciate that. I appreciate the consideration. I appreciate Hey, 45, 47. I'm going to just keep on praying that one day. <laughs> all right. All right, man. Let's go ahead. Let's get into this first round. We're going to knock out these first couple points. Um, And as I said, you know, please, please, please. Don't, don't flip the table. All right. You ready? All we gonna do is just go for it. Ready? Begin. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna, gonna take that yet? one. All right. I'm gonna take that one. We're gonna make this over real quick. All right. Whatever. Take too long. We just gonna get it done. Ooh. 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 Get it done. Gotta do it like. 
Oh no! Oh man. I can't be. I'm telling like this, this ain't like Madden online on the PlayStation or the Xbox. No. You ain't gonna be able to lag and cancel the game later. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I can't just let it, I can't just let it, I can't let it slide, I can't just let it ride. Oh. Can't play with it, can't play with it. Right, so you're going to decide, I'm going to I'm going to take the opportunity if you decide, dog. Stop thinking about it, you got to go for it, let's go. Come on. You cheating me now. Nah, I'm for, I'm for, I'm for, I, I, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's for, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The game almost over. Nah, we got this. The game almost over right now, ain't it? It can't be. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna edit out like two points. Man, just hustle. I hustle did not. No no, I did not. No, <laughs> no, I was literally like, mm, he he on the attack mode for real, for real. Oh, <laughs> all right, dog. Uh, so the score is what? Four to two? two. Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get asked like a bunch of questions. All right, dog. All right, all right, all right. Okay, man. So uh, my very first question is, well, what is the gen what is the genesis of your motivation to play football? Ooh, I would say my, uh, it it started when I was seven. I, I just had the interest, you know, just watching sports. I watch sports all the time. I was an observant kid, and I love football for some reason. So at seven, they asked me somebody asked me, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" I said, "I want to be a football player." And that gave me the ultimate question at seven years old, 1992. I said, yeah, get hurt. You can't play football. What you going to do then? Mm. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to be a scientist. And so at seven, I said that out loud, and I just never deviated from it. That's the only thing that I – because I spoke it, I, that's, they asked me. I thought about it, gave my answer. And ever since then, I loved football, and my only goal was to play professional football. Oh, that's, that's it. That's never deviate. <laughs> Dog, that never deviate. That is so amazing. The fact that you were able to focus on one goal and just keep going. Like, mm -hmm. you said something for yourself. I got you. You said something for yourself at seven. And you said, all right, well, that's going to be me. Dog, that's, that's amazing. I got I to gotta go ahead and give you a follow-up. Um, no, 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 no. Okay. So, now, you played... For the Stampeders. Yeah, yeah, I played four seasons. Four seasons, seasons for the Stampeders. Yeah, 14, 15, 16, and 17. And now you are coaching the defensive backs? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's kind of like I got forced into retirement. Word, and, word. Yeah, well, I was ready to play like a, <laughs> I took three more years. I, right. I was ready to play until um, I was like 35. I was hoping to play till right now. Right. Got done with the season in 2017. Okay. Everybody knew I wanted to coach. I started letting it be known to like my coaches around 2012. Hey, coach, you know I know the whole defense now. You know I want to get done. <laughs> done. So I asked a lot more questions. I knew everything. I'm trying to learn everything about the business. By the time I got to like 17, our defensive back coach got uh, let go of his duties probably about a week or so after the season. They flew me in and interviewed me. They said, well, we, we want to talk to you about the DB position. I thought they wanted to talk to the, you know, the captain about the guy they bringing in. I'm like, well, just tell them, call me. I'll talk to them. They say, no, they want to fly you up and talk to you. And I'm like, that's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just don't call me and send me a text message. What, what do you need to know? I just left y'all a week or two ago. Why do we need to, what do we need to talk about? Right. And so I flew back up, and my defensive coordinator picked me up from the airport. He said, you got your suit guy? I say, so. He said, yeah, for the interview. I said, interview? You didn't tell me interview. You said they wanted to talk to me. And so I was just like, uh, okay, interview. What what questions are they going to ask me in the interview? And so he started prepping me that night for the next morning. And then I went in there, and then it was just like, wham, bam. All right, you want the job? And I'm like, no, I want to play. But I'll take the job because it's a, it's tough to get into coaching. It's real tough. So self gratifying and running out the tunnel for a year or two more, right. or either realizing that I could actually live in my profession for the rest of my life. 
right. and get my foot in the door right there with people that knew me, family. I could make mistakes and I could respect being reprimanded for the mistakes I made because of the people that were around me. And so I was just like, mm-hmm. look like I'm going to be coaching. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Just finished up what? My second season as a coach. So I'm yeah. loving it. That's no, that's a blessing. No, yeah, no, that's yeah. a blessing. And you are you are an inspiration team. That's 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 a, that's awesome. So um, I feel like you touched on it a little bit. Um, but how has your vision changed from player to coach? I don't think my vision has changed at all. Really, it really hadn't changed. Um, like you said, with for me going from playing. To not playing. Well, from playing to coaching. To, right. You to know what I'm saying? Coaching. Like that, yeah. It's, it's yeah. actually, <laughs> I, I actually feel like I go to war every game. Right. I feel like I'm doing the same thing, bro. Like, it, there is, there's nothing different right. for me. It was the first year. The only thing is, I can't slap somebody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't nah, reach out, put my hands on somebody. So, right. But I, I kind of had that where I could go tell them a little, hey, 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 no. You put his hands on you, you do this to him. Uh, you know, so I don't really, I, I still get the same satisfaction. When we win, we win. If we win by five, I'm mad. If we win by 15, I'm mad. You know, yeah. I, I have the same, <laughs> the same exact approach. I still run every day before practice. I still live, I still kind of have the same lifestyle. And it's always winning, always trying to be better. Always just putting your best out there 24-7. That's what's that, yeah. nah, that's the, you said a word right there. Let's go ahead and uh, let's um knock out a couple more points and I'm uh, uh all right. Well, actually, you know what? I, you know what? Uh, because we did four, I can get the man to edit like okay. All right, you know what? I feel like I'm, I'm gonna get this man to edit this like all right, dog. It's been two points. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> nah, don't be trying I'm, to take I'm this off on me because when I come back and win. <laughs> Then all right, now you're talking about ending out my points. <laughs> yeah, yes. And I'm going to have a beef with you. Don't no, let me get this, get this L real quick. Hey, yo. <laughs> all right. Let's get it popping. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, I'm glad it's on this because I thought it was going to be on the bigger one. You no, know, no, I ain't going to lie to you, dog. This is. No. Is he still, still in on the thing? Screw this more, dog. Oh, 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 my bad. My yeah, bad. Yeah. This spot. You're trying to give me that left hand. No, I'm, trying, hand. I'm trying to, I'm trying to, what's going I'm trying to, man, that's why, that's all the reason why you're trying to slap me. Yeah, come on. Come on with me. Uh-huh. We ain't even going to talk. Come on. All right, all right. And I'm slapping you for two more points at the beginning, too. Let's go. Come on, baby. Every time. I ain't playing with it. I ain't playing with it. Hey, DJ. <laughs> Every time. Bruh, yeah. boy, it's, it ain't even... You gotta lift. Man, cheating, man. man, whatever. He cheated. Now what? Hey, put it, put it down. The, yeah, put it down the center. Come on with it. Ooh, come, come on. Knock that. Come on. <laughs> come on. Talk to me. All Let's right. Go. Four six. Four five. Hey, you four already. I just got two goals. All right. Seven. Eight. Man, he cheating. Oh, whatever. He cheating. Oh, what's he going? ain't never got that joke. Stop. <sighs> Dang. Yeah. Come on. Okay, I'm, I'm ready now. I, 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 <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> All right, Let's see. What are you trying to do? What do you want to do to me? Come on, baby! And this man hit the same spot every time. No, I'm a what's go? I ain't even made no goals yet. What I are you put, talking about? It's an on goal every time for me. Whatever, man. I'm a what's go? I'm a whole entire assassin. Man, I'm sick of this. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. The game ain't over yet. That was eight, wasn't it? No, nah, that was seven. Oh, that's seven. Oh, it's right, it's, seven, it's seven, seven, six. Seven, six. Oh, that man, I'm supposed to win then. Terrible. Get out of here! Hi, how y'all doing? I'm Ezel Moon, and um, I be the pappy. I, I be the pappy. There's me. Yeah. Hey, y'all, by the way, I, I just want y'all to know something. I have accomplished a goal in life that I didn't know I had. I beat somebody who went to the Super Bowl. Yes. <laughs> We're building the grass. Ah! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm 
so please don't not. I ain't doing that. Yeah, that's why the guys are coming. I don't like losing. Nah, I don't I'm sorry. Losing. All right, y'all. We're gonna have to have to, we gonna have to round two this one, but we gonna, we gonna go and keep going. We don't reach halftime. That was the first game. I'm gonna play two games with dog because I am not going in that grass. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at um. Well, I'm, now I'm going to teacher mode. I'm so sorry. Come on. All right, y'all. It's halftime, so what we're gonna go ahead and definitely hit on is the charity. Dog. So, what exactly are we gonna be donating to today? Today, the Wolverines Little League Football Organization. Wolverines Little League Football Organization. I, I'm big about the kids. Yes, sir. So most of the people that I deal with, my associates, they love the kids. Um, Antonio Jones went to Lincoln High School. Right, hey. right out of Dallas. <laughs> went to back play at Baylor with me. Played mm -hmm. linebacker. Ever since he's been, he had twins when we were in college, taking care of his kids then. Right. And ever since he's been out of school, he's been coaching football, track, basketball, <laughs> soccer, any sport. And it's usually it started with him and his son and his kids, and then now it's a full organization. The Wolverines. And so I used to give money back to my high school at Skyline. I give money back to just because the money that I know can go directly into something. You know, a lot of people, yeah. you know, we give money and, and just, yeah. just give money. And people, sometimes you might be paying for the janitor, which is cool. Right. Sometimes you might be able to directly give $20 and that $20 then fed a stomach or got gave a jersey or something. Right. Is there like, so is there a donation page that people can easily access? Something, a link that I can give out? Uh, I usually go through Cash App. Okay. And uh, that's the thing. So that's, and I'm, I'm big about that. I'm definitely, Cash App spots me. Uh, <laughs> I'm definitely trying to get, you know what I'm saying? I, I love knowing that, hey, the funds go directly right. to the people. You know what I'm saying? It's so much easier that way. So if they have a cash up, I definitely want to drop that down here somewhere. Sure. I'm not I'm not pointing at my crotch. I'm pointing at the bottom of the page. <laughs> right, yeah, right here. Yeah, yeah, all that. All that. <laughs> so we know for a fact that it'll definitely go to them. You know? Yeah, it's most definitely, man. I gave a check one time. And uh, I said, did you get the check? No. But I gave it to them four weeks ago. And they still ain't get the check. It's like, how do you not get a check in a donation? Because organizations are, you know, so tiered and so elaborate. I said, okay, from now on, right. I'll give money directly. Yes, sir. You know, to yes, the, to the foot soldiers almost. Amen. Amen. No, I, I, I love that. I love that. I, man, dog, you seeing yeah. positive people make positive change in people's lives uh, y'all that is a blessing i i i love that man and i thank you for, for coming on here now come on get your ass one more time oh i'm sorry come on get your butt with one more time <laughs> I, thought I, I didn't even answer my question did I? <laughs> oh wait 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 you said you, you ain't answered your question? I didn't answer the question i did i'm gonna you did? answer some questions oh yeah 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 all right yeah you did i just wanted to give you a little break Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no. Nah. Oh yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. Let you go the first time. No, 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 no. Let you win oh, the first time. Oh no, dog. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. 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 I kind of figured it out. Uh, How y'all doing? I'm easy on me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. All right. One to one. Okay, I'm going to try to do this with my right hand. I'm not going to lie to you, dog. Let's see if it works. Hold on. Let me get that. Sped up right there. Because that left hand keep, every time it hit that corner right here. It fuck you up, right? Ooh, I'm up on the shit. How y'all doing? I'm Ezel Moon. <laughs> I'm sick of the moon and the Hey, dog, let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. If I win, will you let me wear your Super Bowl ring? No. <laughs> Just one day, just so I can be like, hey, guys. I'll tell you like this. If I don't win, Ooh, no, no. score more than three points, Ooh. I'm going to delete your number on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> All right, everybody. The interview over. I lost. Bye. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, so, well, I actually did hit, up, hit it off at the right time because I did want to go ahead and ask these next second half set of questions. Um, So... Really quickly, man, 
Man, nah, I don't want that. So, the success is defined so broadly, right, mm-hmm. by so many different people. What is your definition of success, and how do you know that you've reached it? Dang, that's a good question. <laughs> That's a good question. I really be thinking about these. Like, yeah, I'm so happy that I'm prepared for this question and I'm, I didn't prepare for this question. Oh, dog, come on. Dang. <laughs> think about this. Uh, the word successful, I believe, is taken. It's ridiculous because we only monetize success. So if you make a certain dollar amount, you're successful. You make a certain dollar amount, you're rich. What is success? What is rich? So I think about this all the time. Success is what you make it. it. It's what you make it. It could be somebody that works the fries at McDonald's and makes five sixty five an hour, and they get that raise to six dollars because they they successfully set a goal, they went to work for it, they attained it. I think that's success. Now, it took me a while to believe that I achieved anything. Somebody else told me I was successful, right? And I'm like, what? Success. Because, the, I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't know truly. It, it, it's different from each person. Uh, just like you could say with manners, what's rude, mm. what's nice. You know, it, it changes with each individual. So a millionaire could lose $100,000 in a year and be like, oh, man, I had a successful year. I didn't lose a million. All right. Um, <laughs> I, if I lose a hundred thousand dollars now, I don't even know how I had a hundred thousand dollars. Who you tell? Right. <laughs> uh, I can't find a twenty. I'm, I'm like, like where the twenty at? So what am I doing with my life? Yeah. <laughs> um, success is success is, is based off, of, uh, and then talking about mental health too. Individually, what you sit down created an established foundation for you, goals, aspirations, and if you can knock your aspirations out, boom, if you can reach them, you can pluck them, yes. you know, and collect them as you ride, you know, so. bro, right. I mean, that is success. That's success. You know, success could be you doing nothing because you're a busybody and you can't be still and you spend too much money on gas and you go over budget. So now, if I just sat still for three days straight after I got off work and didn't go nowhere, I successfully attained a goal. So I, I just, you know, I don't think that our life accolades, especially with our job, should measure our success. Because it's a stay-at-home mom that is extremely successful. It's a, it's a house husband <laughs> that's extremely, extremely successful <laughs> because his wife is happy, his kids are fed, everybody's on time, you know. And he's the man of the house. So I think it's just individually, whatever you can have and, and create within your mind, whatever you can put together, your vision of what beautiful is, what amazing is. I mean, your success is individually better. Now you keep saying, you keep speaking words. <laughs> you keep speak. you keep speaking to these men and you're speaking to me right now, because honestly speak, honestly, from, from my perspective, um, I, have defined, you know, my success by my job, Mm -hmm. you know, by what would be in my bank account, you know, like, you know, um, and really it's taken time, you know, what to understand that life isn't, life isn't all, isn't about that, you know, it's really about these precious moments where you're creating memories, not only for yourself, but for the people that are coming after you. You know, and um, I feel like for me personally, me getting this interview with you is successful. <laughs> like, this is successful. I'm like, yo, like this is yeah, this is this. And is, I'm looking for somebody who's successful to come <laughs> link you into, dog. Like, like somebody important, right? Somebody I think cool. They're like, man, let me get somebody else right here that's really gonna impress you because I'm just a a worker. <laughs> oh, dog. Let me know. <laughs> I'm here. But all right, dog. So let's go ahead and let's move into, man. All right, real quickly, dog. Uh, just, I'm sorry. You know, I'm going to stop calling you, dog. Real quickly, <clears throat> what was the most interesting thing you read or watched this week? Oh. Black Larry King, everybody. <laughs> oh, 
Make you stop and think. This week, and you gave me a short week too. Dog, I had to. It's, 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 only, it's only Wednesday. I can't tell you no lie to you. No. Um, most important thing I probably saw this week was, uh, I guess, the banner. I went visiting a different church on Sunday. My grandparents were here, so we went to Fourth Avenue down in, down in, on, in South Dallas and walked in. And you know the banner over the little baptism. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was Joshua twenty four fifteen. I want to say, or maybe Joshua fifteen twenty four. Joshua something around there. And they said, uh, "As for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord." Mm-hmm. And and uh, it kind of, I was like, Cause, you know, Joshua. So I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. reinforcement into mm-hmm. my, you know, like mm-hmm. faith. Right. Yeah. All right. Just you know, for me and my house, we're gonna serve the Lord, and it just kind of reinvigorated me. I, I probably I could have went to sleep the whole service, and I still had that yeah. just from seeing it on top of the thing. So I was just like, oh, okay, yeah, all right, all right, all right. Dog went to the church with it. All right, now nah, that's real. That's real. You know, um, churches are built on faith. No, <laughs> oh, there's quite a couple things that are built on faith. There, you know. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Don't blame it. laughs> okay. Man. All right, let's go ahead. This, this is not. Let's not got a couple more of these points, dog. We are gonna play the six, and then I got it. I got it. You know, I, 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 I got to end this show. I'll be forgetting that I have to end the show, and I'll be. I'll be sad because I really want. I want this show to keep going. All right, let's go. I ain't gonna try to. Don't worry. I kind of got it. Oh, shit. Yeah, my bad. Go ahead. I ain't gonna whisper. I ain't gonna. My bad. <laughs> Woo! That boy get a good thing! Like this. Dog. What you gonna do with that? Oh, yeah. Hello, yeah. <laughs> I'm easy at moment. Oh, uh, man. You know, you, you do know um, there's a stipulation inside that email that I sent you, right? What is up? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I can't, I can't, I ain't gonna say it on camera because I might have some students watching. Hi, yeah. students. Hi, students. <laughs> can't say everything. Not at all. The rules to the game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I say, I done made a whole bunch of these. <laughs> get back on defense. Get back on defense. Let's go. Yo. Yo. Oh, Dang. Let's see if I go on a 4 0 run. What, what, what's the score? Five. You, five I'm a five. I'm a five. I thought I you had five. six. Nah, the goal is to get six. This is a game point oh, for me. Game, man. I got one. Oh, get in there. Almost had one. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ah! I'm easy on move. And as I said earlier, I be the pappy. That's me. Man, Mama, this fool, you Mama, know. it's that man again. Off the camera, he told me that he was supposed to win. Mama, that's what he said. Again. Off camera, he's supposed to win because he's easy. Go ahead, say it, Say what you want. Say what you want. Now, why did I come on here? Oh, he's to say that. <laughs> hey, you know, if I lose, yeah. it's going to be very upset because I lost. I got to kill him. He told me I'm going to lose. Cause he hey. we gonna talk about all this football stuff. Shoot the whole shit. Win a great cup. I just want all this stuff, dog. You so then he gonna beat the brakes out for me like I can win all this stuff, but he can't win our ice hockey. Don't you? He's trying to kill me. He's trying to kill me. <laughs> See how they take advantage of people. Man, whatever, whatever. Hey, yo. All right, dog. I gotta. We gotta go ahead and um. So. This, this the closest segment of the show. Mm-hmm. We always do this. Man, you mind giving us something for the kids? Ooh. Something. Ooh. Do I get the preacher's sermon? Dog, honestly, 
Let them know. Jerry stops. <laughs> because they need it. <laughs> this generation needs it. <laughs> Man. Um, for the kids. Every generation is supposed to be better. Every generation that we have is supposed to grow. We're supposed to evolve constantly as a species. So for kids, as a child, me as a child, I listened. I was obedient. I listened to my parents. I, I learned what I had to do to do what I wanted to do. So if I was going to get on punishment for bad grades and I couldn't go outside, well, I want to go outside. Right. So I'm going to focus on my grades. And a lot of things in life, we have to do what we have to do to get where we want to get to and do what we want to do. And and as a child, we don't have our own government. We don't have our own world. We don't have our own things. We learn as much as we can. We're taught as much as we can, but we can only be taught so much. We can only be taught so much. The, the knowledge that you gain, the success that you have, the things that you attain, what you know and what you do has to go beyond your parents. Your parents aren't enough. They're just a vessel here to protect you and carry you on your way. And at some point in time, you're supposed to be able to be on your own. Your parents are your training wheels. You don't have to be 18 to be an adult. You can be an adult at 12. But because of our society, we limit the intellect and mental capacity of our children. If we raised our children to be independent and to do everything on their own and survive in the wilderness, if we took into the fact the the animalistic nature that we have of being able to climb on top of each other. As children, we have to create our own minds. We have to know what we want, what we desire. We can't just live life. And sometimes we still have children that are 35. So not, not just the kids in age, but also the kids, period. Because when do you become an adult? When? In society, we say 18. <laughs> no. you, become, you become an adult when you say so. But it's because of the responsibility, the accountability, and the independence. If you can't be independent, you can't be an adult yet. You, you are not an adult yet if you're not independent. Just because you're making adult decisions don't make you an adult. Our world is a very good world. It's a good world. The world tells us it's a bad world. There are bad people in a great world. Be the good person. Be the good person. We want good in the world. Everybody wants to make a million dollars. But if we overcharge somebody, how can we make a million dollars if they can't ever save enough to make a million dollars? So we have to learn how to work together as children. We got to be able to work together to be better than the generation before us. We have to take the knowledge from the generation before us, plant those seeds in the ground, water it, go to work every day, and get what we want. We don't have to be limited by anybody or anything. Respect, love, and focus. A lot of our children don't have the focus and the drive to do what we need to do. Focus and drive becomes internal. Nobody can give it to you. Some people don't get it until later, and then they're like, man, what if I did this when I was 14? What if I did it when I was 12? Then I probably, instead of me being a millionaire at 50, I'm a millionaire at 20. All right, we talk about money all the time, right. you know, but we don't have to graduate when we're 18. You don't have to graduate when you're 18 from high, from high school. You can graduate before then. We can overachieve. We can do everything we want to do. Anything we want to do. I, I, I love the superheroes. I love the superheroes. What is your superpower? That's the number one thing I ask every kid. What is your superpower? What do you do well? That's what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to go get a job just because. You ain't supposed to go get a job because they're going to, well, when I retire at 55, I'm going to get $1,000 a month. Who cares? <laughs> Who cares? You can do whatever you want to do. You get a job based off of your superpower. Whatever your superpower is, whatever your passion is, whatever you do better than everybody else. 
You can't say, well, I'm going to go lay bricks if you suck at laying bricks. But if you're good at sweeping floors, you may be the person that creates something that helps us sweep floors better. And so find out what you do, what your interest is, what your passion is in life, because we're, we walk around as um, drones, the movie Divergent, I think, is that we, we're categorized. Some is people, it Divergent? Is it Divergent, where you have some people that are workers, and then some people, they go in three different directions, they walk at the same time? I think so. That, that's how we are really in life. We go to school, go to work, we go home, we go to sleep, we go to school, we go to work, we go home. And then we, it's, it's a conveyor belt of, of creating humans, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, But that's not the, that's not what we have to have. We can achieve whatever we want to achieve. We can do things outside the box. Most of the time, people that are successful are because they did, they followed their passion, they followed their dreams, and they didn't let anything deter them. They had the drive and the focus and determination to get what they wanted. And every child in this world that lives has the opportunity to do that. And then we get to say, we are the world, we are the children, the, I, 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 the kids, man, I, I love the, the kids, I'm big on the kids, I'm a disciplinarian, yes sir, I, I start early, I thumped my son when he was the first time he could take his bow, arms and legs, I thumped him like crazy on top of that hand, if he touched anything, he wasn't supposed to touch, and then by the time it was like two, three months later, I'd be like, hey, and he do this. <laughs> and I don't have to really say much to him. To this day, he's five. I really don't have to. I can look. And you already know. And I have probably, I don't have to thump him probably once or twice a year. Because, you know, the discipline is in him. And it started early. And the discipline, if it isn't instilled in you from your parents, then you got to instill it in yourself. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. One of the things that I'm going to try with my son is uh, rewarding him. For reading books, you know, I know it's I know it's like because you know people used to like you know while growing up, see how some kids got allowances for like you know uh, taking out the trash. For taking out trash yeah. No, 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 I ain't finna pay for that. Go read this two hundred page book about starting your own business, and then you can, I'll give you ten dollars for that. Man, you just gonna take out the trash? Because I told you to take out the trash. <laughs> like, but. But, book, book. but better than yourself, yeah. I'm gonna pay you to better you. Man, what? Cause that's my that's my son. Do, you they, know do they still have like accelerated reader programs? <clears throat> oh yeah, I believe. Yeah, oh yeah, man. And the thing is, they do need more. I feel like they need more endorsement. And like you know what I'm saying? Because that right there, that that helped me. I, I'm not gonna lie. I was thugging for knowledge. I was thugging for knowledge. I really? yeah, man. I'm one of those kids that stole library books and shit. <laughs> And then, then put your car at the booty bag. Man, say, bro, I was just, I just randomly just, if it was the right day, I, I'm in there, I put it back and I just did. <laughs> and that was it. Because it was just like, man, this is long line. I'm gone. Even, <laughs> bro, even today, I mean, like, we got in the abundance of water, the food is thirsty, bro. Amen. We got phones. Everybody has a phone now. Knowledge at your fingertips. It's a Google contest around me. Google contest. You said what? I'm finna. Alright. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. That's wrong. what you said. Like, <laughs> it's right here. Yeah. Credible sources, though. Yes, sir. That's one thing that people don't think thing. about. Credible hey, resources. Man, like, what's yeah. credible? Man, and you know, who I was about to get real political. You know what? <laughs> Up, right there, okay. Man. I'm sorry. Right All right. I'm sorry. Yeah, I thought it was over with. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. All right. Um. I just want to say thank you so much for coming to the show. Glad you got me here, bro. I really appreciate it. Man, dog, you know, and for being one of the first five bros, you know, I have something for you. Uh-oh. Yeah, I had to, you know. Uh -oh. Always, 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 always. I'm scared. No, no, don't be. Don't be. Trust me. You know, because. Oh, what's the guy? Every time. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Every time, dog, I want you to wear that with pride, dog. Bro, and you know, I'm like, gonna take stuff off now. Nah, nah, this is true. <laughs> I'm take stuff off because I'm gonna lose it if I take it off. My son might try to take it. I might have to slam it. Nah, don't slam it. I just, I'll have one ready for him when he gets older. <laughs>
Now you know I have one ready for him, dog. That's that's me. <laughs> man, I appreciate it. <laughs> It's me. Gibbs, man. I'm here. Gibbs got fed everything. Dog. Don't say it on camera. Oh. I, don't, I, don't, I don't want them to know. <laughs> I don't want them to know. I want, I want what's going on. I want it to be a surprise. Like, dog, like, when you come to the show, it's like, dang, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was good today. That's why I'm dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna live. Dog, that's some tea. The tea is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> the tea's amazing. Mm-hmm. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming to the show. Once again, you guys, I am Ezel Moon, and I'm not doing it unless it's fun and it helps people. All right, all right so on the five, we're going to both go yeet to the camera. So we both just do, just do yeet. All right. So it's on the five, though. So Q, Sa, Q, Sa, Fa. Yeet! Purchase my book, Purple Mike Wants a Bike, at Amazon.com. You can find it there. Just type in Purple Mike, type in Ease of the Moon, and it'll pop up. If you guys want to follow me, no, not even if, go follow me at Ease of Moon underscore on Twitter and Instagram. I'm Ease of the Moon, and I'm not doing it unless it's fun and it helps people.